Quick practical example on how to use the SPDSX Session Control Max for Live device to trigger different clips, uh, three three different clips with each pad. We're just going to use two pads here for showing purposes. So what we have here are the three different states here, which I can select via the delay and filter button here. So we have clips row one, clips row two, clips row three, and my delay is going one up and the filter is going one down it's set to three states only so i can cycle through the different states here so now i just need to make sure that the note in for those two pads is set up and that the right midi note is mapped in here and now i'm ready to map the clips already so let's select the clip i want to map base one for example to the first pad here just press D for detect. It's already already detected. Now um, let's go to clips row two, my second preset here. Let's detect this one here and let's go to the third one and select the third clip here as well. Press D done. So um, let's do the same with the drums. So um, let's go to my first preset here, select the first drum clip here, press detect. Um, go to the next row and select the next clip, press detect here and let's select the third one uh, for the third clip here and press D and drums 3 is now being detected. So now I can already play those different clips depending on the state I'm selecting via my SPDSX. <laughs> Second row is now selected via the delay and select some different drums. Let's go back to the first one again. And select the first clip again. So this is how quick you can set up stuff here. So just imagine if you have a huge set here where you want to trigger the same pads to always one triggering the bass, for example, one triggering the different drums, depending on the state you are, you can set this up real quick and it will be all stored in your Ableton Live set and ready to go for performance.